1.9 billion transactions were declined in 2015. They are valued at $146 billion. This is a huge problem, especially when you consider the fact that the lifetime value of a credit card holder is approximated between $3,600 to $48,000. And if you consider the fact that 475 million customers worldwide can switch their card or, and or use another store. So the cost of one declined transaction goes way beyond the lost sale. Can we do something about this? The truth is that the problem of the payment, like many other problems in the payment industry, is a complex problem. From the customer to merchant to, let's drop pay, Spridley because nothing ever goes wrong in Spridley. From the customers to merchants to payment gateways to payment processors to issuing banks and acquiring banks and to the credit card brands, there are so many players and because of that there are so many different things that can go wrong. There are two sides to this problem. There are two big player, players that need to know about this situation. For, actually, it's a big disadvantage to them. One, uh, banks, and the other one that are merchants. In Spridley, we have this uh, fantastic opportunity of working remotely. So I had this opportunity to work remotely in Toronto for about 35 days, where I actually visited TD in downtown Toronto and actually visited a couple of data scientists working there. For every single problem, TD and other organizations have an army of data scientists to take care of, take care of the problems and have an army of engineers to optimize the situation. But the story for merchants are very different. Merchants, as we mentioned in the Citgig talk, is that they do, they actually lack the control over the payment process. There isn't really much that they can do about it. At, at this, and at the same time, they really don't have access to the data, relative and absolute. Even if you have your data, you really don't know how you compete against your competition but there is hope. Spridley sits between the merchants and the rest of the payment infrastructure starting from payment gateways. And a result of which we have access to the payment method data, credit card information, debit card information. We have access to the uh, transaction data, the time, the date, if the transaction was successful, the currency, the uh, uh, information like this. And also since we are working with more than 100 payment gateways, we know a lot about the performance of these gateways all uh, over the world. At the same time, we have data about our customers as well. As a part of my responsibilities at Spridley, I'm actually investigating the important challenges like decline transactions, the important challenges in the payment industry, translate them to data problems, and see if, if we can actually address them with the data that we have at Spridley. This has led to a series of articles that the feedback and the appreciation that we got from the industry has gone beyond what we actually expected, showing that there is a need for this type of analysis. At the same time, we monitor and we are excited about the great work of the other organizations like Recurly, and we learn from them. We also understand that a couple of articles on a blog is not going to solve a $149 billion problem, yet, we hope that small steps in the payment process can lead to a better payment experience to merchants and our customers. Thank you.